So let's prepare this awesome gulab jamuns, one of the most popular Indian desserts and that too from semolina. Very few ingredients required and this turns out to be super soft and super moist. I have shared many small tips and tricks to make this awesome gulab jamuns. As you can see in my video, they have turned out to be wow. And yes, I do have a recipe of khoa gulab jamun in my channel. I will share the link in the description box. Try this recipe, gulab jamuns fed from fine semolina. Hey guys, I am Subhankari and I welcome you all to my channel Sus Food Corner English and I hope you all are doing great in your lives. If you are doing my page, do subscribe to my page and do not forget to tap the bell button. Thank you all for loving my channel so much and liking my video so much. Let's begin with this awesome recipe of Gulab Jamun. So as I had said in my video earlier, I will be preparing this Gulab Jamun from Semolina or Suji. The trick here is that we need to take the fine Semolina that we always use for halwa or pudding. If you have the regular semolina, then you can just grind it 2 to 3 times in a blender to make it fine because the more fine it is, the more nicer and more plump the gulab jamun turns to be. So first step is that we need to heat a pan on low medium flame and I will dry roast this semolina. It's around as I said 1 cup or 150 grams. We need to dry roast this for just few minutes. Make sure the semolina doesn't lose its color. So on low flame just for few minutes and it's done my semolina is nicely dry roasted and again I will take it off from flame I have taken a pan and I will add 1 tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee spread it uniformly in the sides and to this I will add 2 cups of milk for 1 cup of semolina I have taken the same measure the same medium sized ball so if you do not have cup measuring cup you can use any standardized um, bowl and that you can use throughout the recipe and after adding 2 cups of milk, I have added half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. This gives a very nice flavor. Wait till this milk starts to simmer. Just to simmer, we don't need a nice boiling consistency. Just when the milk starts to simmer, reduce the flame to low. And in low flame, I will start adding the uh, dry roasted semolina. It's very important. Stir continuously while adding the semolina to the milk. This reduces the chance of forming any lumps and the more moist and more nicely the semolina absorbs the milk, the more fine your gulab jamun will turn out to be. So just keep mixing, it will take few minutes and the flame should be low, it's very important. These small tips and tricks work wonders for this recipe and after few minutes you can see the semolina has formed some consistency like a dough, it has started to release the pan. At this stage, switch off the flame. We still want this semolina to be a little moist, not dry. I'll transfer it to a plate and wait till it can come down to a temperature where I can touch it. Meanwhile, we'll prepare the sugar syrup. Water I have taken 1.5 cup and sugar 1.5 cup. And I'll wait till it starts to melt. Saffron strands I've added. Cardamom powder 1 teaspoon I've added. And few drops of lemon I've added so that the sugar doesn't again crystallize in this syrup. And in medium flame, I'll just place this syrup. Just the motive here is that the sugar should melt and the syrup should be just sticky. It should not be of thick consistency. Meanwhile, the semolina mixture has been resting and it's perfect to touch it, get it still warm. And we need to work out on this semolina when it's warm. So you can see my semolina dough is just perfect. If by chance it's dry or hard, you can add few drops of milk and then you can just knead it. Make sure the consistency of the semolina should be soft and smooth. The more nicely you knead it, the more superb the gulab jamun will turn out. When I am halfway done, I have added 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. And again, I will use my palms in this way to nicely knead it as it is still warm. You just need to be careful. Basically, we need to knead it for around 5 to 6 minutes. Still, it is super smooth and it comes around like a dough and there should not be any cracks in this dough. That is the most important part. And I have shared also a few tips and tricks how you can manage the dryness of this dough. And this is it. My dough is perfect. First, I will initially divide this into two parts. One part, I will keep it covered because it turns out to be dry immediately. And then I will walk on the other part. I will squeeze out small medium sized balls. Again, it depends upon your choice, but I prefer medium sized gulab jamuns. And then I need to nicely squeeze it, press it firmly for a few times and then roll out to a nice round ball. Make sure there are no cracks, otherwise this will go in oil and splutter back. So we need a nice smooth round ball of semolina. Here I have heated oil. You can also take ghee for frying these gulab jamuns on medium flame. 
Once this oil is heated nicely, although it should not be steaming hot, then reduce the flame to medium and add the gulab jamuns and the trick here is that do not touch this gulab jamuns for initial few minutes. After 3 to 4 minutes, you can just use a spatula to stir them and you can see if you use the spatula initially, that might stick to the spatula. So make sure you turn them after initial 3 to 4 minutes and then again you can adjust the temperature. The temperature of the oil should be hot. Make sure it is maintained throughout the process and fry these gulab jamuns till they have turned nice golden brown in this way because when we dip it in syrup they will absorb the goodness of the syrup and you can see my gulab jamuns are perfectly fried. They have not cracked in the oil and they have holded the shape properly. Take them out from the oil and I need to place this gulab jamun instantly in the syrup. The syrup should be slightly warm when you place this gulab jamuns. Make sure you switch on the flame on medium flame for 2 minutes because that will help to keep this syrup warm. Just for 2 minutes on medium flame and once it starts to boil, switch off the gas and let this gulab jamun soak the goodness of the syrup. Meanwhile, I have fried my second batch and this is all. My gulab jamuns have turned out perfectly this time also. And as you can see, I'll take them out once they are golden brown. And again, this goes in the syrup. First batch was already done and this is my second batch. And now I just need to wait till this gulab jamun soak the goodness of this syrup and they'll actually double in size. It may take around one hour or more than that. So it depends upon the size of your gulab jamun and after one hour you can see these gulab jamuns have turned out to be super smooth. They have absorbed the syrup, they have sunk in a bit, they are heavy and you can see from the look these are ready to be savored. And I will just show you one gulab jamun how soft they have turned out. This is one gulab jamun, these are medium sized gulab jamuns and as you can see they are super soft, extremely moist and my bowl of goodness gulab jamuns are ready. That too made from very few ingredients, the main ingredients is semolina and I have shared many small tips and tricks to make this awesome gulab jamuns. Make sure when you form gulab jamuns, when you fry this gulab jamun, there should not be any crack and the syrup should not be too thick or neither it should not be too thin. Perfect ratio I have said, do try the recipe according to the ratio and your gulab jamuns will turn out super soft and super moist. And now it's time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from Shilpa Senapati Sirait. Your voice and cooking style is really awesome. Thank you so much for this tasty recipes. Thank you so much Silpa. I'm so glad that you love my recipe and you care to post me back. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Stay safe and stay connected. And today's recipe of semolina gulab jamun is a sure hit. Do try this recipe to believe me. You can also follow Source Food Corner on Instagram and Facebook. And if you have liked today's video, do give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my page. See you in next video. Till then, stay safe, love life and happy fooding.